This ambulance has been our project for the past nine weeks. We've spent this summer learning the ins and outs of a van conversion, starting with bringing this full-blown ambulance to the bare bones, learning electrical, installing floors, walls, adding paint, a vent, a bed, cabinets, and a kitchen. We're getting so close to getting this conversion done, we can taste it, and we're eager to hit the road very soon. Good morning! Can you see me? I feel like I'm like hiding under this hat. This is insanity. I feel like we need to film every day of the week now because every time we don't film, we get so much done. Well, we also get a lot done when we're filming. This is crazy. So, hello. Welcome back. It's always a mess at the beginning of these. <laughs> um, let me get the focus here, okay? So this is our kitchen. It is, the skeleton is complete. Um, as you can see, we've tile the walls in the kitchen. This is going to be our door for electrical. So Nick has made it, but it's gonna be a secret door. So it looks like the rest of the ambulance. Like that. And um, so we're gonna put cedar on the rest of this panel here on the side. This is gonna be our kitchen area. Gotta cut the wood for the rest of the kitchen so it's not just a skeleton anymore what else are we doing today oh we finished the front of the bed and we just have to put it on so we'll do that today and what else is on the agenda we we wired up the fridge yeah i've got the um i cut off the uh 12 volt plug-in like the cigarette lighter plug-in so I cut this off because this um, will draw too much power and the typical cigarette lighter chargers don't, um, they blow and stuff. So what I did was I snipped this off, split these two here, um, and then I soldered a couple of connections, soldered a couple of connections. They connect in here on this one. Um, I have these two eight gauge wires that'll come through. They'll connect. Everything will connect together like this. It'll all run in behind into the electrical box. And yeah, it's just a safer way to run the 12 volt power to the fridge. I think that's it, which is kind of a lot of stuff. So um, yes, we're very exciting. Exciting, we're very exciting people. We are very excited that it's coming together and we are going to go back to work right now. sold on the color of this wallpaper it's a bit too bright for my taste and it's just popping out a little bit too much it's my fault like I got this wallpaper for free from my aunt last year thank you Chicha. but um yeah I was remembering it differently I just thought it was darker and it's quite white so luckily I've learned thank you Google that you can actually use wood stain on wallpaper <laughs> So I did a test piece and it looked all right. And so I'm gonna use um, my dark stain on it. There's only a little bit left, so I'll just use the rest on here. And um, it should bring it to like a dark gray color. And then like all these white pieces, well, my hands are filthy because of the stain. All these white pieces um, should be a darker gray and then the, the gray will just be gray. So. More gray. I want more gray. I'm, I'm not ready for white yet. White was feeling like a little bit too much. And this is the result of the staining and then Nick just put the 
vent in for the heater, and I would say it looks pretty dang good. I'd say so. Let's go inside. Okay. Call it a day. Moment of truth. Not working. No. Real, real moment of truth. I was lying about the last one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we knew today was gonna be a short day. We don't feel like doing that much today. So, that's life. We're gonna go in chill out, recharge, and start again tomorrow now that we have our fridge, woo woo, and that air conditioner cover, which we'll plug in right there. It's painted now, so uh, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow morning. Gotta get stuff for the plumbing, because we got all the wrong things. I did. <laughs> and and I'm, I went to school for plumbing. So. Yeah, fun fact, Nick, Nick went to school for plumbing, and... Uh, I haven't used it, <laughs> so clear, I mean... Clearly. If my plumbing teacher, anybody who I went to school with, um, is watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got a little. But I figured it out. I remembered. I remembered how to do it again. So. So we'll go to town again tomorrow. Return the other stuff. Get the new stuff. Start with the plumbing and do a whole bunch of shit tomorrow. Yeah. See you then. It is I think like 7:30 a.m. Um, Rachel was still sleeping, but I just happened to wake up early, so I grabbed the camera and I'm going to start working on the, uh, the one of the benches in the uh, ambulance. We are waiting on contact paper so that we can um, cover our little kitchen, so I'm going to wait to finish the kitchen and I'm going to be building a bench here today and hopefully over top of these hoses that get very hot because they carry the radiator fluid and they pump them out of that vent there um, so we'll have heat. we keep laughing we have like all of this storage space like even under that bench now there's so much space and we don't have a lot of stuff so I don't know how we're gonna fill it like it's not a bad thing it's a it's obviously a good thing to have more space than you think you need but wow that's a lot of storage underneath that bench hey babe oh yeah 100% in comparison to like what we own like I mean, if you want to look back at our old videos. Like we got rid of everything. We got rid of so much stuff, and now it's like, we don't, we, I don't even know if we can fill up all this storage. We're gonna have to buy, we're gonna have to buy things. We have to buy a bunch of stuff to fill it up. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, we're gonna go into town to get some stuff. Need some wood, we need some stuff for the plumbing. Let's do it, let's go to town. is it that we haven't said hello yet so hello um, good morning um yes yeah, so yesterday we went to Rona and spent forever there trying to find all the right pieces for the plumbing and stuff so we came back and we're just too tired 
Um, and then this morning we came out, Nick started on the plumbing and is now cutting pieces for the rest of the um, kitchen, the, I mean the entire kitchen. And I have now primed that seat and I'm gonna use two layers of primer and then two layers of paint. I, I'm doing that because it's actually finished birch plywood. So I had to sand it down and then prime it and I'm gonna prime it again and then I'm going to paint it. So that's gonna take a couple days to do. Um, and meanwhile, we got some packages in the mail. So let's go through them together and see what we got. I'm super bummed about this because I ordered these really cute belly baskets and I took the measurements, but I guess I just didn't understand Oh, I, did, I clearly didn't measure properly because they're way smaller than I thought. I thought these were going to be like big wide baskets. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to return those, although they're so cute, but they're just too small. I have no idea what we would even use those for. Um, so that's too bad. We got a suction cup tripod situation to put on our dash so that we can take more cool footage for you guys got our niece's birthday present so hopefully um nick's sister my sister-in-law isn't watching this um let's open this after got plants so we're going to be doing fake plants um to avoid like tons of water and stuff but to still have greenery so we've got some hanging plants Ooh, these are actually really cute so cute. So we got like five of these um, to put through the ambulance. We got other succulents in the other day too, but those aren't down here. Um, what else do we have? Oh, yay. We've got bowls. This is an entire dinnerware set, so we got the bowls, we got cups, plates, all sorts of things. They're melon mine, but they're like really cute. So that's exciting. And this is what we really needed today. So like I said, Nick is doing those final pieces for the kitchen so that we can box it in, it's not all exposed. And we're gonna be finishing it with contact paper so that's what this should be awesome so we have a black wood grain contact paper and then the other one as long as didn't mess up my order should be just a plain black contact paper yeah so once Nick is done cutting those pieces I'm gonna go through and put contact paper on the top and the bottoms of it and finish those off then we can screw them in and oh my god this is like so weird to think that we're putting dinnerware and plants in super soon just finishing off that bench um, I'm gonna have to make uh, cushions for that and do some of that this weekend but yeah this is like this is surreal. This is actually crazy that we've come this far. The ambulance is so close to being finished. Anyways, we clearly have a lot of work to do. So we're going to do what we can here, finish off what we can today, tomorrow, and the next day. And um, yeah, I mean, it looks like next week is going to be a kind of finishing touches video. So hopefully everything goes as planned and we'll see you guys soon.